Hi everybody, it's Kristen. So as I forewarned, this is the second and final haul for a while, <laughs> in a few days. Um, like I had mentioned in one of my videos, the haul that I just uploaded on Sunday, I had recorded that a few weeks ago, and I had the stuff for a few weeks before that, so please don't think I'm going crazy all of a sudden. Um, and I do just have a few things to show you that I purchased, and I do have a couple of other gifts that came in literally like the day after I recorded that last video. Um, so yeah, so I wanted just to share some of those things with you guys. So first of all, I have a couple of drugstore things, and um, that's in preparation for something I'm going to be doing. So anyway, um, the first thing I have is the CoverGirl and Olay um, Light to Medium Powder. I think it was Miss Crystal Makeup had suggested that she liked this, as well as the foundation, um, which I have purchased to try as well, but I've already shown that in a haul. So I picked that up. I saw Josh talking about this mascara. It's a new, the newest in the line of... Um, well, this kind of line, the Lash Blast, but it's something else. This one is called Clump Crusher by, oh, Clump Crusher by Lash Blast. Lash Blast. You know what I'm saying. Um, and I got it in very black. 200% more volume. Okay, so the other thing I went um, the other day to, I think it was, well, I don't know, doesn't matter. Walgreens. We'll go with Walgreens. And last night, actually, I picked this up. I had not seen this formula before, and I'm not sure if any of you guys have either. It's in kind of a squarish bottle, like a... Chanel or Esque or like the Ulta brand line like that and it's CoverGirl Outlast Stay Brilliant and I just thought this was a really pretty color for the holidays and it is called Forever Festive. Really really pretty. Love that and also and you'll see in a minute a friend of mine sent one of these new 8 pan palettes from Went Wild to me because I couldn't find it. Um, the only one I had been able to find was the matte one which I already had from the last time. And then this one, which is called Shimmer the Night Away. So I picked that up. And then um, I finally broke down just purely out of curiosity and purchased from the Lisa Lisa D1 site the Rachel K CC Cream. And I got it in natural. Yeah, natural. So looks like this. And I'll just, I'll give you a little swatch. A little swatcheroo. So that's what it looks like unblended. And blended, you really can't see it at all. So I, I am I'm curious to play with that a little bit. I've been hearing about it from so many people that curiosity got the best of me. What can I say? Okay, I went to I went shopping last weekend, um, well, two weekends ago now by the time that you see this, uh, with Lori from PB Mommy PL. And we went to just the mall in Appleton, and um, I needed to return, oh, I needed to return a, a palette that I had purchased online because a friend of mine had sent it to me, and then I wanted to pick up a couple of things. So I picked up another, I'd already, I've already shown one of these in my last haul, the New Hourglass Liquid Lipstick. I picked up the one in Empress before, and this is in Canvas. This is another one that Josh had suggested for me if I wanted to go a little more, a little more my style. Looks like that. And I've not played with this one yet, but I will. And I picked up, and I've not seen these before, so maybe I'm, maybe these are new, maybe I'm late on the bandwagon. It's a new product from Laura Mercier, and I'm saying new, it's probably not. And this is in Gilded Bronze, and it's called an Illuminating Eye Color. So it's real quilted, and kind of reminds me of like the Eyes to Kill, the Chanel Illusion d'Ombre, that kind of feel to it. Look at that pretty topeness. So yeah, I grabbed that, and then I picked up... Um, a replacement for my NARS Ashes to Ashes. I still cannot believe. Ugh, don't depot your NARS, your NARS eyeshadows. Clearly, it's not for the best. But that is what not Ashes to Ashes look like. In case you've never seen it before, you missed my Topetastic Topic Tuesday. And that is right there. Okay, so you've already seen this in my. <laughs> in my favorites, but I, I had 
really enjoyed the Estee Lauder Double Wear sample that I had, so I did go and purchase that, and that was on that trip. So I'm just going to tell you again, I picked up the one in Fresco 01. It also says 2C3 on the bottom. I've never had a, a foundation from Estee Lauder, so I don't, I'm not super familiar with the line, but that is that. And she gave me a couple of free samples. The Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I don't know anything about this. Anybody that does, feel free to leave me a comment. And also the Matte Perfecting Primer. A little sample of that. And then I scooted my little self over to the Chanel counter and they had the quad that I wanted. And it's the new holiday quad in Harmony de Soir. That's what I'm going to go with. My French knowledge there. These are the colors. They are beautiful. There's another taupe in there for me. I said to Lori, I'm like, you know, there might be a taupe in there. She's like, yeah, pretty sure there is. So there's a gold, a taupe, a kind of burgundy cranberry, and then a light kind of iridescent pink. By now, you guys have all probably seen this from a million other people. I love it. I've already worn it. And it wore really, really nicely. Not super dark. I really, I really enjoy it. I do. Oh, and I did, I forgot to show you guys, at Sephora. I don't know why, and I haven't gone through it yet to see what's in here, but she gave me this big old bag of samples. Don't know why, but thank you. So, yeah. I always like that. I'm working hard on using up my samples. And then um, I also stopped at the MAC counter. We were at Macy's, so they have the Escalade MAC and, you know, all in the one area. And I picked up a few, just, just three things. I picked up the MAC Prep and Prime Mascara. Well, it's not a mascara, but it's a Prep and Pie Prime Lash Primer, whatever. It has a little brush that looks like this. I'm still trying to... Find a good primer that will help my mascara not smudge up on top. I do have mascaras that don't smudge up on top, but I want to use the ones that I have, so this would be a way to be able to use them. And I, I had to back to MAC, which is why I was there to begin with, and I picked up Rebel because everybody's talking about it, so I felt like I should get it. Looks like that. I've not worn this yet because look at that magentaness. It's a little bit scary, just saying. And then I picked up a brush that I've been curious about for a long time. Actually, the last time I was shopping with Lori, um, the makeup artist at MAC used this on her. Her name is Christy. And, and I was like, boy, I don't have that brush. And I kept deciding whether I needed it or not. And so I decided I did. And it's the 286. And it's a dual fiber that comes to a point. And I, I have not heard a lot of people talk about this. But, yeah. So... I'm happy to have shown you that because now I can try it out. Just silly. I could have tried. I could have anyway, but you know. Okay, so I have a couple of gifts that I want to go through with you guys, show to you guys. One of my um, sweet subscribers, her name is Raluca. She sent me, because after seeing my Taupe Tastic Tuesday, she decided that I needed um, the Elf Studio. Um, eyeshadow in pebble and what's funny is that I think I used to have this I used to have a whole like I don't know 10 of the, sh the shadows or so and I actually gave them to my sister-in-law thinking that she would like using them and I had too many shadows so this is pebble and it really is very pretty taupe I'm sure um, Kirsten from it's Kirsten has this one it's a real subtle taupe I'm so glad. I love it when I get to record during the day and can record in front of this window because I think it looks so much, the colors look so much better. Um, she actually sent me a lipstick as well from e.l.f. And she had a little note on here that she thought it would look great. I mean, it's in rosy tannin. is what I'm wearing, and it's a very Kristen color. Looks like that. And I like the packaging of these. Oh, here, let me swatch it before I... I like the packaging of these. It's kind of sleek and nice. And it says eyes up face on the side. I don't know. Anyway, rosy tan. I really, really like it. Raluca, you did a good job. And she also sent me some candy. Love that. Thank you so much. That was really sweet of you. Unnecessary and very sweet. Okay, and then um, Liz from EP3074. We send stuff back and forth frequently. She had this that, <laughs> that they made me wear in Chicago. And I did really like it. Um, more so than I thought I would. And it's the Revlon Just Spittin' Kissable blah blah blah. 
in um, Rendezvous, and it's it's like straight up orange. It doesn't come off quite as orange, it's more peachy. So this is kind of more of a summer color, but I'm going to enjoy using that for certain. I really like these balms. And then she also sent a color, and I, I had not seen this here, and I'm going to put this on my nails today, I think. Um, and it's, it's like glitter without being crazy glitter. It's Sinful Colors in Winter Wonder. I'll show you guys up close so you can see the sparkle. So I'm excited about that. And then she also sent me a, a sample of the uh, Ola Hendrickson, Ula Hendrickson uh, Truth Serum Collagen Booster. I love this stuff. And this will be great for travel. I'm going away next weekend. So it will be great for that. Thank you so much, Liz. She's the best. Hooking me up. And speaking of people hooking me up, um, Ms. Kristen321, so Kristen from Ms. Kristen, she and I have sent back stuff back and forth several times. She was the one that found the Sparkle Till Morning 8-pan palette for me. Um, these are just really pretty colors. I don't know what in the heck I'm going to do with that aside from use it as a liner. But, because you know I'm not so much with the brights, but so pretty. I'm going to swatch these for you guys. So here's the first row on my fingers. Second row on my fingers? Or second, uh, the other side, whatever. Row, side. And there are the swatches. Really, really pretty. I mean, that brown is some serious brown. And they are, they all have some shimmer. None of them are matte. But they're not, not all of them are crazy either. You could use one as a transition if you needed to. I, I still wouldn't, well, I still wouldn't use any of them as a highlight, but then I always use brulee, so. Okay, and then the other thing that she was kind enough to send me is I had, and I mentioned this in my original haul, and I, I'm just going to mention it again so that I can thank her again publicly. She sent me the Dior Quad, or Quint in Rosy Tan. Let me drop that out. Um, and I literally just showed this before, and I just want to say, Kristen, thank you so much. That was really, really sweet of you. She wasn't using it, and I had just purchased it, and she said, please return that. I want to send it to you. So thank you, Kristen. You are the best. Okay, so then I did a swap with um, Sani, Miss May 27, and we have done a swap before, and she was looking for the, or was interested in the Lorac Pro Palette, and I totally wanted to hook her up with that. So, to that end, um, she asked me what I was interested in from Paris, because that's where she lives, and I really couldn't come up with anything, mostly because I don't really know what's there that's not here. So I had seen her do a video recently with some Ela Masky products, and I said, you know what, aside from one horrible nail polish, I don't, in color anyway, I don't have anything from Ela Masky, so maybe if you want to pick out some things that you think I would like from there, and she was all over that. So I'm going to show you the things that she sent me. Um, firstly, though, she sent me another bottle of the Bioderma um, makeup remover, is, is what it, it, you guys all know what it is. Love this stuff. So excited to have that again. Um, she sent me the blush that I'm actually wearing today um, towards the backs of my cheeks, and that's a Deborah Milano blush, and it is in Cacao number 12. Looks like that. And like that. It's a really nice, I really, I, I just loved how this looked on my cheeks today. It's kind of a peachy brown, like a dark, you know, you know, well you can see it, so you don't need me to attempt to explain it. Um, and I really, really like it. It's just it's so smooth and applies. And I noticed on the back of here, by the way, when I was getting ready for the video, there's a little brush back here that comes off and this slides up. How cool is that? I don't know that I would use the brush, but I think it's cool. Okay, she sent me a lipstick and she had little sticky notes in all of these, which I love. Um, she sent me a lipstick um, that is the Rimmel Kate Moss collection and she hit on there if it's good enough for Kate. <laughs> um, and it's an 01. I don't think there's a name. It's a really pretty red color. Since, since I'm jumping out of my zone and wearing some deeper colors lately. Bam! There's some serious red right there. I think that'll be beautiful at the holidays. Okay, so on to the Yellow Mask products that she sent me. The first one was a cream pigment in Delirium, which looks like that. And it's really pretty. It doesn't look like it would be too dark there, and then when you put it on, it's a really pretty, like, dusty mauve, mauve. Um, so I'm excited to play with that. I've, I've swatched it a bunch. I haven't actually put it on my eyes yet. Um, 
And then, this is my favorite thing of all of them so far anyway. And that's an Ilamasca blush. And you guys you guys can get all this stuff here, by the way. Um, in Naked Rose. Oh, I've worn this so much. It is so... I don't know if you can you can't tell by looking, but it's so buttery smooth. Like what a Bobbi Brown eyeshadow feels like. That's what this is like to me. It's right there. So I I really enjoy this blush. It's a great go-to blush. You know you like to have a few blushes in your collection that doesn't matter what you have on your eyes, you can put that on. That is that to me. Um she sent me a product that was new to her too, and this is a gleam in Aurora looks like this. You can see I've played around in there. I haven't actually applied it on my skin lately, if lately, yet. It looks like that. It's a highlight. My assumption is that it's a highlight. It's kind of a yellowy gold, kind of. I believe that's showing up. And then she sent me this gorgeous quad, and she did a look, I'm pretty sure, with this. I have to go back now that I have the products and see the look that she did. I know she used a lot of these products in one of her looks. And um, this is a quad in complement, and it has one cream, this right here, and the other three are powders. So she actually just featured this in her favorites as well. Um, and so this, I'll just swatch all of these for you. There's one matte, two kind of sheen, and then the cream product. So that's the cream, and then this is the matte, and then these two have a sheen. That cream is so pretty. You do have to wear a primer with it, though. That's the cream. <laughs> That's the rest of it swatched on my hand. So, so pretty. So, Fanny, <laughs> Sandy, thank you so much. You did a great job in picking out products. I hope that you like the products that I sent you. Um, I just, just such a great job. Awesome. You're fantastic. Okay, so that is what I have to show you guys today. I'm sorry, again, I'm sure it's another long one because, you know, I like to talk and swatch and show you because what's the point of a haul if you don't get to see a swatch? That's what I say. Um, I'm going to tell you quickly what is on my face now if you want to see that. Great. If you don't, I will list it below. That's what I always try to do for those of you that are new to my channel. Um, so on my face today, I have the Estee Lauder Double Wear. And then I have my Giorgio Armani Master, no, Maestro, Maestro, um, concealers in two in three on my face and two under my eyes. I have Laura Mercier Natural Beige. Loose Minerals and Natural, natural Beige. Beige. I'm trying to be quick. Can you tell? Um, and I also, I, as I said, I have the Deborah Milano blush on. And then I have Lorac Velvet Rope just on the very front of it. Just to give it a little more color. And I have Too Faced Chocolate Soleil as my bronzer on my face. And then down my neck, I have the It Cosmetics ginormous bronzer. On my eyes today, I use, kind of as a base color, I use this duo that uh, Melissa from 30 Plus Some sent to me a long time ago called Perfect Couple. And it has this really pretty, those two colors, nice easy color. So I have that one all over my lid and that one in the crease. And then I took a little sable. So I saw somebody using this the other day and I was like, oh, I haven't used that in a long time. So I just added a little sable kind of in the outer corners and underneath my eye. I have um, Urban Decay Demolition, is that what it is? The dark brown one as my liner. And Shroom on the inner corner. And then I have my Armani Ice to Kill Mascara. And on my lips, as I said before, I have the um, Rosy Tan. And then I have my Kevin Klein Lip Liner in Warm Up. So that's what I have on my face today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them below. I will be happy to get back to you on them. Um, hope you all have a great week, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye!